beautiful. Today I want to talk to you about a couple things that just struck me this morning about my relationship, our relationship with our bodies. As somebody who has lived my entire life from the time I was 11 with a chronic illness, ulcerative colitis in my case, which became a bunch of other things, I've always had a pretty harsh relationship with my body. And something in my reflection struck me this morning as I was thinking about how for my entire life I've been at war with my body, feeling betrayed, criticizing it, bitching at it, telling myself I have the wrong body, that it's not fair and that it's not functioning properly. And whenever I look in the mirror, it's like, you don't look right and you're not working right. You're hurting me. Overall, absolutely criticizing my body. What struck me this morning was this. Imagine if I was talking like that to my child or to a child for years telling it, you're wrong, I wish you were different, I wish I didn't have you, I wish you worked differently, you're not performing right. Imagine what it would do to the development of a child. It struck me like a slap in the face this morning. And it's like, oh my God, I have kind of every reason to be critical of my body and to be unhappy with it and to think other people have it so much easier, but, it's my body, it's my child. <laughs> and if I, if we don't start by loving that child body, not, that sounds weird, doesn't it? That, <laughs> that body that is like a child, then how can we expect it to thrive, to serve us, to maybe heal? Or even if it doesn't, if your child was sick for a long time, would you be dissing it? Would you be telling it it's wrong? Would you? No, you would be pouring some love on it. You, know, you love the children that you are given, however they showed up. They're a divine creation. So it's like, why? So this is even closer than a child. This is our immediate relationship, our most intimate relationship we have in the world. It's the fastest one to communicate with. It's automatic, it's constant, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If we cannot treat that relationship as a loving parent, how can we expect it to develop into the best it can be and feel like it's enough and feel like whatever it is, it is how it was created to be. So whether we remain chronically ill and in pain, it's a hard one, but we have to come to a point where we still are kind to ourselves and working with and pouring love even though Believe me, I know how almost impossible it is. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to do that 100% of the time. But if at least we start spending some of our time becoming aware and starting to make that shift, certainly we have a much better chance at getting what we want. And this morning, that's what came to me. If I want a healthy body, if I want to be my saying, healthy, lean, limber, and strong, if I want to achieve that, there is no way that I can if I don't start loving my body for what it is, for how it is. It's the only way that we can ease ourselves out and become more of what we want in our bodies. It's the only way that it's going to be less of a struggle to change our habits and create new ones that are going to support what we want to create in our bodies. If we want a healthier body, we have to stop by loving it as it is because we don't take care of things we don't value. It's, it, just, it just all click. I don't know if this made any sense to you today. It kind of flooded my mind this morning. I wanted to share this because I feel like it is such a key. And for people like me, like maybe you, 
who have been living with a chronic illness, it is so hard to be loving towards our body. I mean, you know what I mean. So great place to start. Let me know if something in here resonated. Did you get your own little light bulb? Did I explain it in a way that made sense? I hope so, because I know that for me, I'm going to start hearing myself talk to my body. And slowly, I know I'm going to start changing it. And that this gives me hope that I'll be able to establish habits that will support what I want for my body. That's it for today. Give me a thumbs up and let me know what you thought about this. More importantly, let's start this conversation. Let's start loving our bodies. I love you. After you subscribe to this channel, come on over to anypaquette.com and pick up your free copy of my manifesto for the chronically different. If you live with a chronic illness, you need to read this. That's also where you'll get more details about my upcoming book, A Splendid Mess. Yes, it's a memoir. Once you're there, remember that, like me, my website still needs work. So please be patient with both of us.